you have a Capricorn sun, this is what might happen to you this upcoming fall. Please only take what resonates. So for you, we have 10 of pentacles. All right, we have number 20, judgment. We have number one, the magician. We have number 11, justice. Okay, we have 12, the hanged man. We have number four, four of wands. And we have number 21, the world. So for you, this is a message of do not give up on your dreams and all that you've been working so so hard for healing and growing so much for all right because things have may been feeling like it's stagnant or moving way too slowly for you and you've been trying to be very patient about it and allowing things to come at the time it's supposed to because you know that things come when they're supposed to you know it, it everything happens for a reason you know what i mean and so when this fall season comes in things are going to start picking up and you're going to see blessings rolling in like if you're a content creator you're going to see more people engaging with your content if you're a business owner you're going to see more people buying things from you right so it's, it's going to start picking up and you're going to feel surprised you're going to feel like kind of taken aback in a good way like where are all these people coming from where are all these blessings coming from that did, like isn't my birthday am i captain america you know what i mean and and for you, it may have been really a, a, a little bit frustrating having to wait for things to pick up naturally um, because you just you just want it so badly. And usually, you're probably not one of those people who usually wins things overnight or gets blessings overnight. Um, but that's because you have been manifesting sustainability, not only stability, but sustainability. All right. In order to have sustainability, you need to have a stable structure that these blessings can lay on top of so that they can last a lifetime and that's why things have been moving so slow because right now you are building the putting together those stable building blocks right so that when these blessings come in in the fall it has a stable structure to stand on top of and it can last you forever instead of like an instant overnight gratification type thing where it goes away in like seconds and it doesn't mean much because you haven't been able to build a real connection with it right that's not what the universe wants for you and that's not what you want for you and you've made that very clear so that's why things have been moving slowly but don't worry when the fall comes around it's going to pick up and you're going to be pleasantly surprised by all the blessings that are coming in that you've been waiting for that you've been working so hard for and growing and learning and healing for all right so this sounds really amazing and i hope you have a really blessed and amazing day amazing fall as well bye if you have a capricorn moon this is what might happen to you this upcoming fall season please only take what resonates so for you we have number 17 the star we have the six of cups we have number f the four of swords we have page of pentacles we have seven of swords and we have number 15 the devil and we have eight of swords all right so for you this literally just means that you are someone who loves the idea of a stable, loving, and happy, balanced relationship, but you've never really been knew how to e execute that or or grow that, right? And it's not just you; it's also your partners as well. Your relationships are a reflection of you, right? And so, because you never really got to experience that, it's kind of left you kind of floating in this limbo where you're trying to find that stability outside of yourself right and that's not a good thing because then that leads to the thought process that if something doesn't work out then it's because of these people's fault or this thing's fault or everyone's out to get me and it's not true and so when this fall season comes in you'll be met with a choice of whether or not you are going to take these lessons and learn and grow from them and really try to understand why what you desire is working out and heal from that grow from that so that you can still be able to achieve it because it's still possible and you can still have it right or are you going to give into those negative doubtful thoughts and fall into this idea where that love is just isn't for you or the case may be and you end up self-sabotaging basically sabotaging relationships sabotaging your relationship with yourself and so on and so forth which is not fair to you it's not fair to other people either but it's not fair to you you know what i mean these relationships are not about other people it's about you and your healing and your growth and if you don't know how to have a healthy stable relationship which it seems like you don't <laughs> That is has to do with what's going on inside of you, not all those other people, right? And hopefully 
during this fall season when things start to pick up you decide to go down the path of healing and growth and reconnect with your vulnerability your intuition your healing your growth with who you really are so that you can enjoy the fruits of your healing right you plant those seeds you nurture them you take care of them you're honest you're vulnerable you're transparent with yourself first before any all relationship you will be able to enjoy the fruits of your healing and it will reflect so heavily within your everyday life and you'll be so much more so much happier and so much more at peace and so much safer in relationships okay so have a blessed day have a blessed fall bye